is Sheridan, and I work at the Long Beach Public Library. I'm here today to read you a story and sing a little song with you to make sure that you are ready for our summer reading program. That's right, summer reading is coming up this year. It starts June 13th. We're also going to have some virtual summer reading uh, programming and workshops for you to join in. We're going to do some crafts. We're going to have some science. There's going to be some story times. All kinds of cool stuff is going to be happening. Okay, so stick around. This year, we're actually going online with a new service called Beanstack. So pretty soon on our website, you'll see a link to be able to register for summer reading. And then that way you can use Beanstack, the website or the mobile app to log all of your reading, complete activities and even write book reviews that then you can share with your Long Beach community. Okay, so stay tuned for summer reading. In the meantime, we're going to read a couple books or a book and sing a song. Okay, just to make sure that you are ready. Here we go. So our first book of the day, this one is called And Then Comes Summer. We're going to read about summer and then we'll sing a little song about some books. Okay. This one is by Tom Brenner, and we're reading this with permission from Candlewick Press. Thank you, Candlewick Press. And uh, here we go. See a little dog there licking some ice cream. When the days stretch out like a slow yawn, and leaves and grasses sparkle with dew, and the cheerful faces of Johnny Jump Ups jump up. What are Johnny Jump Ups? Hmm, maybe these guys, huh? The flowers? The pansies? Then throw on flip flops and breathe the sweet air. Take a deep breath of air, let's see. <sighs> yep, the air is sweet, all right. When bumblebees bumble around in flowers, and warblers flit from tree to tree, and the air thrums with the sound of lawnmowers. You can see here all the little warblers flitting around from tree to tree. There's a couple of them. Some bumblebees in the flowers going zzz, zzz, and a lawnmower in the back going Vroom. Probably at 7 a.m., huh? That's usually when they like to start lawn, lawn mowing. Then pump up your bike tires dig out your helmet, and raise your seat. My, how you've grown. When the last class project is finished, and your cubby is cleaned of cookie crumbs, and eraser bits, and God knows what else, an end of the year hugs have been given, then swap out backpacks and notebooks for pitchers and cups. Why'd they swap, swap them out for pitchers and cups? What are they doing? That's right, yeah, they have a lemonade stand, huh? Looks like they're selling lemonade for 25 cents a cup. It's a pretty good bargain. When daylight pushes back bedtimes and crickets crick crick in the evening air and bugs as big as thumbs bang against windows, then play hide and seek until darkness wins. Looks like they're playing hide and seek there, huh? I'd say that little boy's got a pretty good hiding spot. He's even got his dog in there. When stores unfurl the stars and stripes and flags wave from porches and cars and, whole, and the whole town seems wrapped in bunting. Do you all know what bunting is? Bunting are those flags that people hang at parties. Do you see them up here? That looks like they're red, white, and blue here to celebrate the what? That's right, the 4th of July. Then dress up your bike and pedal to the parade. When bands march by, left, right, left, right, left, and all manner of floats float past, and scouts and pioneers toss candy, then grab your blanket and watch the night explode in colorful sprays. Wow, look at all those fireworks. There's a lot of colors in there, huh? When every day is like a Saturday, and porches and lawns and sidewalks are playgrounds, and a familiar jingle interrupts the game. Hmm, what could that familiar jingle be? 
then race to be the first in line. All men fudge, please. Who came by? That's right, the ice cream man. They've got almond fudge. What flavor would you get? Oh, I like that one. Personally, I'm kind of a mint and chip guy myself. Or those little like strawberry shortcake um, novelty bars. Those are A1. When the dog days of summer roll around and it's so hot, you're practically panting. And not even the sprinklers provide relief. Not even the sprinklers can cool them down. Then it's time to head to the lake. Roll down the window and smell the hot, dry grass. Shout your favorite songs at birds swooping across the fields and ask for the millionth time, are we there yet? And packed up the car and off they go to the lake. Do you all ever go to the lake or a river? The beach, maybe? We kind of tend to go to the beach more here in California, huh? When the familiar sign appears at last and the silver lake winks through the trees and old friends run to greet you. Looks like they went to Lake Sunnyside. Then scramble out of the car, dash down to the beach, and swim till the sun is low and your lips are blue. You're having a good time. We tend to swim at the beach till the sun is low and our lips are blue, huh? And when dinner is over and stories have been told and your fingers are sticky with marshmallow and chocolate and the fire burns down to glimmering coals. Looks like they're sitting around the campfire telling stories, singing songs, just hanging out with one another. You know, it's nice to just relate to other human beings. Then snuggle into your sleeping bag and plan tomorrow's adventures and that was and then comes summer by tom brenner i know that right now we can't really do a lot of this stuff but it's nice to just think about it and remember and plan maybe someday in the future we'll be running around on lawns well not me because i have bills to pay but you know doing stuff like that okay folks so a little bit more information about our summer reading program the theme this year is dig deeper Read, investigate, discover. And so this summer, the library is challenging you to take those topics that you're already interested in, be it dinosaurs, treasures, pirates, other cultures, uh, you know, ancient history, and read to delve a little deeper, to dig a little deeper into those topics and maybe discover something new that you didn't think was there. Dig deeper, read, investigate, discover, summer reading 2020. Keep an eye out on our website for how to register and sign up. Let's sing a song about a few books, okay? So I'm gonna put that there. And this song is about a few books at the library. We've got a couple of different colors. You'll see we've got a red book. Let's see, and we've got a yellow book. Pretty good. We've got, what color is this? That's right, you guys are smart. A green book. And, boop, uh-huh. A blue book, good work, good work, good work. And we even got a, a brown book, very nice. So we've got five little books at the library. And so our song is gonna go sort of, you know, it's a nice little song and it goes, five little books at the library, five little stories as great as can be. Along came, who came along, who came along? Hmm. Who could come along at the library to check out a book? You guys have any ideas? Maybe, quack, a duck? <gasps> I know, the wildlife in Long Beach is out of control these days. A duck comes along, and he's got his handy dandy Long Beach Public Library card. Don't forget it. He's got his card, and he comes along and he's like, hmm, you know what? I'm gonna take one of these books, and I'm gonna read it at the pond. Because that's where ducks live, right? At the pond. And he decides, you know what, I don't know which book I'm going to take, but let me see, let me see, let me see. He decides that he's going to take, see if you guys can remember and notice which book the duck took. Okay, I'm going to cover the camera real, real quick. You guys can tell me which book he took. Let's see. Maybe you saw, I don't know. But which book is gone? 
That's right, the red book. Duck took the red book. He got his card. There it was. And he checked out the red book boop, 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 to take to the pond. And off he goes back to the pond. So we've got how many books left? Four, right? Let's see. One, two, three, four. We've still got the brown one, the yellow one, the blue one, and the green one. So let's see, let's keep singing our song and we've got <laughs> four little books at the library, four little stories as great as can be. Along comes, <laughs> who came along? Ah, that's right, it's a pig. Mr. Pig comes along and he's got his library card. Don't forget it. And he comes along and he decides that he's gonna take a book, but you have to guess which one he took. So I'm gonna cover up the camera real quick. There he is, there he is, there he is. And, oh, Mr. Pig, which, which book are you gonna take? Ah, there he goes, he took which book? That's right, Mr. Pig took the brown book. He takes that book and his card and he goes back to the farm to go read his book about mud. That was what the brown book was about. So now we have how many books? You think three? Let's see. One, two, three. Good job. We've got the blue book, the yellow book, the green book. And we're gonna go like this. Three little books at the library. Three little stories as great as can be. Along comes bah, a sheep. Along comes a sheep with their library card. Don't forget it and decides that they're gonna check out a book too. But which one are they gonna take? Hmm, let me see. Sheep's gonna get in the camera. He's gonna be like, bah, bah, bah. Which book are you taking, Mr. Sheep? Ah, there he goes. Which book did he take? That's right, the blue book. So Sheep takes the blue book and off they go back to the farm to read their blue book. So now we have how many little books? That's right, we have two books. Good work. You guys are good at counting. We've got the yellow book and the green book. So here we go. Two little books at the library. Two little stories as great as can be. Along comes Ruff Ruff. Ah, a dog. It's Fido. Fido comes along with his Long Beach Public Library card. Don't forget it. And decides that he's gonna take, which one is he gonna take? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Dog's like, oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, uh, he took a book. Which one did he take? That's right. He took the yellow book. Dog takes the yellow book and off he goes to read his book and do some barking. I don't know. Dog things. So now we have just one book, it looks like, right? Just one single little book. One little book at the library. One little story as great as can be. Along comes... Walk, walk, walk. Who is that? Oh, that's right. It's Chicken. Chicken comes along with their library card. Don't forget it. And they decide to take the last book, the green book, and off they go. And that was it. We're out of books. And all of them, because they read five days, won a prize as part of our summer reading program, Dig Deeper, Read, Investigate, Discover, at the Long Beach Public Library. Hopefully we'll see you there. Uh, keep an eye out for the link on our website to be able to register for the program through Beanstack. And then that program, Beanstack, will automatically take care of keeping track of the books you read, the activities you complete, and the book reviews you write so that you can be eligible to earn prizes and even enter our grand prize drawings all summer long. All right, so we'll see you there. Thank you for joining me today, and hopefully we see you signed up for our summer reading program, Dig Deeper. See you later, folks. Bye.